Lawson Hamilton Jr. shares a special kinship with these waters. Born at the crossroads of the Kanawha Elk, he would sneak out of school to rent a canoe and paddle for half an hour. Other times, he would sit silently on the banks and watch boats and barges plow their way. Years later, the river would be his playground as he would glide along with family and friends on his stern wheelers. And the river was his workhorse as barges hauling his coal would churn their way to market. Like a river, generosity flows from Lawson. It ripples ashore with waves of giving to his community, his state, and people from all walks of life. A powerful player in the coal industry since the late 1940s and the president of the Ford Coal Company, Lawson is truly a compassionate man who loves bringing joy to others. Measuring the extent of Lawson's generosity is as difficult as it is to fathom the depth of a channel from the shore. No one but Lawson knows the full measure of his giving, and that's how he wants it. But it is safe to say he has given millions to schools and hospitals, churches, children's groups, and countless others. Without seeking credit, he repeatedly steps forward to share his financial resources and to serve in civic leadership positions. As a result, countless lives have been set or maybe righted on course. He has a gigantic heart. He has a heart for serving people and helping people. Uh, he enjoys uh, seeing other people be happy, and he enjoys helping to make them happy. Born February 4th, 1923, Lawson is the oldest of five born to Lawson Sr. and his wife, Dorothy. While the river has always beckoned Lawson, it was Uncle Sam who came calling after he graduated from Charleston High School. He barely had a few classes under his belt at Morris Harvey College when he was pressed into service for World War II. Lawson returned from the war and found his father's construction company was struggling, so the two decided to try coal mining. The Hamilton Coal Company grew from a small operation into the Ford Coal Company with surface mines throughout the state. In 1946, the coal man became a family man. He met Wheeling native Jean George at a dance in Charleston and married her within a year. The two raised three children, Tripp, Barbara, and Beverly. If you look at Lawson in the overall, he is about as complete as you can get. He's a hard worker, a good family man, a very generous man, and on top of it all, to sort of tie it together, he's been very successful. Lawson and his family returned to West Virginia about a decade after making the move to Kentucky, and he became a force in the coal industry. He helped form what is now the West Virginia Coal Association and was named Coal Man of the Year in 1989, Arch Cole purchased most of his operations. Along the way, he has served on an endless list of boards and has provided a guiding hand in West Virginia politics for decades. He also has collected numerous awards, including Spirit of the Valley, an outstanding West Virginia philanthropist of the year. He was inducted into the West Virginia Cole Hall of Fame and the University of Charleston's Alumni Gallery of Achievement. UC presented Lawson with an honorary degree in 1989. A graduate of the University of Hard Knocks, he never had a chance to complete his bachelor's degree because of his military, career, and family responsibilities. Following the amazing number of his contributions is like tracing the tributaries of a river. They seem to branch everywhere. In Lewisburg, Fans of the performing arts, museum and library patrons, and families of patients with terminal illnesses have all benefited from his generosity. Lawson has been a big supporter of Carnegie Hall and Greenbrier Valley Hospice. In Charleston, the congregation at Christ Church United Methodist enjoys the rich melodic sounds of an organ with more than 2,000 pipes, thanks to Lawson and his family. College students across the state benefit from his donations to higher education. West Virginia University and the University of Charleston are just two of the institutions to which he has contributed. 
Patients are receiving better care through his gifts to numerous medical facilities, including the Mary Babb Randolph Cancer Center and Duke Children's Hospital. Lawson has a soft spot for kids. He is a big supporter of the Boy Scouts. He was co-chairman of the task force that created the West Virginia Kids Count Fund. He contributed seed money and challenged supporters to fund a $1 million endowment for the group. While he prefers to stay out of the spotlight for his giving, Lawson is anything but shy. A fan of jazz music, he loves to sing and be on stage. He has recorded several songs. If you can forget, don't worry about me. And was a longtime supporter and performer with the Light Opera Guild in Charleston. Lawson belted out some tunes in Riverboat Man, a musical drama he almost single handedly financed. At the Greenbrier, he is the first to jump on stage to sing with the band at midwinter birthday celebrations he hosts for hundreds of people. The events commemorate the February 4th birthday he shares with his son and two of his grandchildren. He threw a 50th reunion bash for his high school graduating class. Classmates paid 1940 rates. Lawson picked up the rest of the tab. But friends say the elaborate parties are not for himself. Lawson loves people and enjoys watching them have a great time, and he makes sure they do. His three-day 60th wedding anniversary celebration at the Greenbrier featured a Broadway play with a full cast, a circus, three bands, a world champion quartet, and performer Chubby Checker. Lawson has a keen sense of humor. He once named a business operation the Bat Coal Company which he referred to as a fly-by-night operation. Well, she got a great laugh, you know, ho, 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 like Santa Claus. Uh, he has a great sense of humor. He he's always comes up with something unique, particularly in times of stress. He'll be at something very serious, and all of a sudden he'll come up with something very unusual, very distant from the subject, and uh, gets your bum off track, you know, and you forget about being so serious. He's that kind of individual. Uh, he is a, a friend that anybody would want to have as a friend. But this colorful character who's been known to host ramp dinners at his Kanawha County office also is a profound man of faith. He sings in the choir at the Old Stone Presbyterian Church in Lewisburg and is a big contributor to the church and to state and national Presbyterian groups. Lawson knows and lives the reality that the true wealth of life is in our friendships, is in our relationships with one another, and our commitment to one another. The community where he attends church also is where he calls home. Now semi-retired, he lives with his wife, Jean, at the 50-acre Mary Hill Estate, where they enjoy their 10 grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. During his lifetime of giving, Lawson has charted a course we would all do well to follow. No matter where the river takes us or how fast the current flows, each of us shares a responsibility to enrich the lives of others. Lawson W. Hamilton Jr. has shown that giving is life's greatest joy. <laughs>